please don't forget to subscribe on your way out by hitting the red subscribe button below. Whatever comes to my mind Would you stay with me Any, any way If you knew I made a Hey loves, it's me, Mari from Soul Style Beauty And today I'm gonna be finally doing my Apartment Living Alone update So I've been living alone since December So December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July So that's like 7 months, almost Because I moved in the second week of December So I've been living alone for just about halfway so um it's a lot i will not lie to you it is a lot living alone and besides the finances and the money that you spend it is nothing like number one turning your own key it is nothing like having your stuff in the exact same place where you left it Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to talk about finances, which is most important when you're living alone. So I have my little handy dandy notebook and it says, be awesome today. But in this notebook, every single month, I put down my two pay dates. I get paid two times a month and depending on the how many days are in a month, I may get paid three times a month. Um, this is what I do. So I have a first month type of like column and a second month, I mean a second column representing the two paychecks. So this is how basically I budget every month. So I would go through everything that I have to pay for, for example, my phone bill, rent, time on a cable, con ed, national grid. Um, I have a Best Buy card, my personal credit card, like everything is on here. And when those dates are, how much I owe, and I down below that I have a guesstimate of each check. Because knowing how much hours I, I do for work, as an assistant at my job, you are hourly paid. Um, but knowing how much hours I work, I can make a good guesstimate of how much that check is going to be. And I just break down and leave my discretionary income, which is everything. I thought I paid for all my bills, what I have left over. So that's exactly how I budget. And this list comes in handy. The next thing I wanted to talk about is cleanliness. Oh my goodness. You will quickly learn that the apartment will not clean itself and you have to clean. And sometimes, oh my gosh, I do not have the strength. And there's times where I have prayed to God to give me the strength to clean my apartment. Because sometimes I am completely tired. Like I work sometimes almost 50 hours a week. So I get so freaking exhausted. And on the weekend, I just want to relax. Yeah, you have to clean, girl, because no one else will do it for you. Okay, now groceries. Groceries you would see will come and go like clockwork. I do not understand. I could spend like almost $60, $70 on groceries and by like the next week it's all gone. And I'm like, do I eat that much? Really? So grocery shopping is like an extra $150 to $200 on top of everything else that you need to pay. Unless you're trying to eat like fast food every single day. Um, but groceries are expensive including like snacks and whatever else you're gonna buy it's kind of expensive so make sure you budget as well for that monthly including like your monthly bills and your rent some things that save me a lot of money um, so I don't spend money outside the house is by meal prepping so on Sunday night I will make something like grilled chicken rice with a vegetable and I'll eat that every single day for lunch and when I come home, I already have dinner that's in the fridge and I'll warm that up. However, sometimes you don't like want to eat that every single day, but you do spend less money than like eating out every single day, especially that I work in Midtown in the city. It's so expensive. It's very expensive. So you can easily spend like a good hundred dollars if your food ranges probably from like nine to fifteen dollars for lunch. You're basically spending like a good hundred dollars on lunch. So I definitely meal prep and recommend it. And also for breakfast I also bring my breakfast to work. And I usually have waffles and I bring instant oatmeal and I would bring um chai concentrate to make my chai latte and then I'm set. So basically saving and budgeting is so important I cannot stress that enough so if you're planning on moving out get ready to budget get ready to save 
um, learn ways to save and like I said meal prepping and bringing food to work or bringing snacks while you're out so you don't spend money that helps you so so much um, sorry if this video is all over the place but I'm just thinking of stuff as a come but saving if you do not trust yourself with a certain amount of money like I said for every single check I budget so basically I always take out half my rent and then all the bills that I have to pay that's due before that second check so it's basically I split it basically I just split it up like that so if you don't trust yourself with half the rent when that first check comes I encourage you guys to open like an online savings account. I personally have Capital One 360. It's a free savings account online and you do earn interest if you do keep that money in there. But what you do is you take your half the rent and you transfer it from your account to online savings and you will not touch that money until the end of the month and you transfer it back to your account and then you give it to your landlord. So that's one way that I save like by opening a savings account and I highly encourage you to do that if you do not trust yourself or you're scared of having that money in your account and you will overspend definitely open an online savings account okay so let's speak of this fun fun stuff about living alone like I said there's nothing like turning your own key and it's nothing like having your shoes whatever it is your makeup in the same place as you left it another thing that i love you get to blast your music and i've been loving tori kelly's album i love her album it is so so good i also love that i can be on my couch for however long i want to i can lay on it i can do whatever i want on my couch and i absolutely love that I also love talking to myself and having no one look at me like I'm crazy because you do find yourself talking to yourself a lot when moving out because there's no one around so it's like you'll just talk out loud to yourself and it's fine because no one's here. I also like when I want quiet time all I have to do is shut off the TV, I shut off my phone, I shut off my computer, I block out the sound, turn off the lights without someone saying I need the light or I want to watch television or it's just so good that you can just do whatever you want in here not saying to go crazy but if you want silence girl you can have some silence when you come home late or you just come in the house in general you don't have to worry about your mom or your dad saying shh you're speaking so loud or, shh I'm sleeping or shh be quiet because it's your house you can come in anytime you please leave when you please and that's that's great. I just love that. I also love that you can have whatever company that you want to have. I know my mom used to have a fit. You're not bringing her in this house right now. You're not bringing her at 9 o'clock in the morning. You can't have her in this house right now. Oh my goodness. It used to be a mess. So now if my friends want to come over, I usually don't invite my friends and they're going to kill me. But um, I usually don't. I just go out and we'll meet or whatever. But I am going to start to have like game night and stuff. I don't think I want company. But I wanted to decorate my apartment before having guests over here. And it seems like it's so hard getting that done. I have brought some picture frames. So I might do a DIY apartment video. So if you want that video, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video. And yeah, I think I covered pretty much it about living alone. So I hope that this encourages you guys. Um, it is a great thing, but once again, I will not lie to you, it is a lot of money that is spent monthly. Like, I cannot trust it enough. But anyways, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching me, for supporting me. And if you like this video, please show me by giving it a thumbs up and sharing this video. If you have any additional questions about living alone, definitely put them in the comments box below. And I'll be sure to get back to you. Until next time, bye.